stood up. I talked to pastors. Help, let's, let's get our men. Let's save our men. It ain't about what faith we have. The name of our faith is salvation. So when I called for the million, nearly two came. What did I have in my heart? You didn't ask me. So you're going to judge whether it was successful or not? Stay out of it. Because it wasn't about you. God gave me the call. Because my heart was bleeding for young black men. And I wanted to change the way the whole world looked at us in one day. And I had it on a Monday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y.T. Walker said, oh, man, these Muslims marching. We the marchers. They need to come and ask us. So I went and I talked to Reverend Y.T. Walker. He said, you having it on a Saturday. Right. No, you ain't having it on a Saturday. We had all our marches on Saturday. I said, I'm having this one on a Monday. So they said, man, this cat is crazy. <laughs> but see, I read the scripture. See, if you got to make a reasonable sacrifice, present your body so that God will see you doing something, then he can give you his spirit and forgive you. They say the minister asking for a day of atonement. Jesus paid it all. You know, you all need to shut up. See, you keep driving that kind of crap up out of your mouth because you're envious of your brother. So you want to fight me. You ain't got no guts to fight your enemy. But you got a lot of balls to stand up and fight your brother. So many of my pastor brothers. Got in their pulpits. Farrakhan is the Antichrist. <laughs> Farrakhan is the devil. What have I done, brothers and sisters, that you would say I'm the Antichrist? When I preach Christ as good as the best of what you got. And sometime I won't be arrogant, but the truth is, sometime I preach him better than all of you because I think I know him better. Because I'm the man that's walking in his footsteps and that's why the world hates me and loves you. If this world loves you, you're not following Jesus Christ. This world did not love Dr. King. Because he was following. He took his ministry to the streets. He took his ministry to the weak. And the poor. And the lost. And the locked out. And he took his ministry to the rich and the powerful, not with weapons. He never approached you like that. But you beat him. You jailed him. And you ultimately killed him. Now you can name streets after him. We killed a nigga that was a threat to us. But we'll name a boulevard for him. Right, right, right. 
But ain't nobody going to follow him. We just going to name Boulevard. That's right. That's right. And that's pacification for silly black people. That's all right, baby. Malcolm X, when he died in 1965, if you go to the files of the ADL, who was spying on all our leaders, Malcolm was the leading black anti-Semite. What happened? He now is on a stamp. Have, have you forgiven him? What happened? The Warner Brothers would spend 30 million. 30 pieces again to make a hero out of Malcolm not that he don't deserve it but what was your motive see I see what you do that's why you don't like me because God has made me aware of subtleties see you can't come around me with that smooth kind of talk and I don't see you You may fool my brothers and my sisters, but I see you. That's why you don't like me. 